Hey Siri, remember me? The iPhone girl. Yes, of course. Apple fans went crazy about you. How's things going? Nothing's really changed. I'm older, still working on the assembly line for the last 10 years, making iPhones like you. I actually have a question for you, Siri. What can I do for you? How much does Apple really make? Oh, I really don't want to say. It's not nice to say. It's just that I haven't had a raise for the last five years. Why? I just want to know why. Sure, I could take a look. I found this on a website. According to Apple, its revenue has increased 10 times since the iPhone launched in 2007. And, according to Isoply, the assembly labor cost represents only 0.8% of the price of an iPhone 7. Um, that's unfair. Don't you think we deserve a bigger share? You're earning 4,000 RMB, 600 US dollars, a month. That should be enough. You know I only managed to earn that during the peak months, by working up to 15 hours a day. I'm exhausted. And during the rest of the year, I only earn half of that, around 2,000 RMB. Worse, I've been forced to apply for unpaid leave. I'm struggling. It's not Apple's problem. And do you know why I'm struggling? Tell me how expensive it is in Shenzhen. I found this on a website. According to the Chinese government, the cost of living in Shenzhen has drastically spiked. Food and rent have doubled, while Foxconn workers' basic wage has barely increased. So can you just imagine what it's been like for the last few years? I get my salary, pay the rent, buy food, and help out my parents back on their farm, and I have nothing left. No opportunities to study further, no time to be with my friends, no hope to have my own family. I have no future. It's not true that we're not looking after you. As Foxconn says, small mistakes are unavoidable. I would call this a beautiful mistake. This is not a beautiful mistake. It's the real, everyday struggle of hundreds of thousands of Foxconn workers. Join Sackham's campaign and demand Apple double its workers' basic wage for a reasonable living.